Well, hey, so we're back at it, finally. It's been a long time between drinks. Done a couple of Keppel trips, but uh, yeah, out for a fish finally. So um, we're pretty get the old sea legs back. I'm pretty pumped about that. So um, yeah, and to continue this mission on, we've been loving the amount of love we've been getting off um, off uh, people from the YouTube and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. We never set out to do that, just to document the trip and stuff like that. So we just thought we'd keep it going, especially. You know, we've got a lot in this area too that we don't, um, probably we don't promote enough as a community. So anyway, we'll have a bit of a crack and um, we'll see how we go and we'll get among some fish. A lot of you said you wanted to see some more fish in action and stuff like that. So um, we'll Fine, see. we'll go for a fish. Woo! Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. That's on. That's on. That's what we're This is the hour, the darkest place. Is at the sea. Still a bit of slop around, we're just gonna poke out the back and um, see how far we get. And you now, if we're doing it tough, we'll just come back into couple for the night and leave in the morning. But we're out for a couple of days and um, have a bit of a play around, see how we go. Just see that marker behind the boat there. Here's your um, marker to enter the reef. We're just coming over top of it now, heading straight into the beach. So even at uh, this time of the day, it's not too bad. Pretty good visibility in the water still. Not very often the tide suits us when we come out here, so um, we'll see what it's like to spend a night in close to the beach. <laughs> Cheers. 
Thanks, babe. Cheers. Evo time. Just in time for a couple of visitors by the looks of it. Yeah, we made it out to um, Northwest there, to Salvi, no dramas. It's a bit, bit lumpy on the way out, but got a bit better as we went on. Um, probably at, oh, maybe just on 10, 12 knot easterly actually at the moment. So, so we bought the boat in. Um, this is the second time we bought it in, and this will be the first time that it's going to go high and dry overnight. But um, <laughs> yeah. anyway, we're all up for the first day. So it's plenty of other boats here. And um, just with the northerly, it just suits it here a little bit. You've got to go around the other side otherwise, and it's just a bit average and just far away, you know. So we want to be here and see some turtles laying. It's right on that that time, so you'll see some tracks here where Jill's um, Jill will pan there and show you some tracks there in a second. But yeah, yeah we get a nice sunset from this side and that too. They're swimming past everywhere and stuff. So um, yeah, we picked a bit of a bare patch, so he pals sit nice on a sandy bottom there, and it be should be good have... to um, see how it goes. First time we've actually beached it. Hmm. So we're going to have a bit of a walk and um, have a look. Two of my most favourite views. Time of year the turtles come in and they uh yeah they're mad laying and then about sort of february-ish is when the little babies start hatching so it's a pretty cool time of year to be here it's pretty crazy though we've been here and seen mating laying and hatching all in the same day <laughs> oh we've seen mating birds you guys <laughs> look at this shit. you still can't help it but no matter where you go Yeah. I was just saying to Jilza how once you get around this part, you know, this is the western side, I suppose, or southwestern side of the island. Yeah, the water just laps. It's high tide, so the reef's probably, well, that boat out there is probably on the edge of the reef, I'd say. So, I feel like but a lot of it comes out. This is the most photographed spot for us. Like, yeah. every time we're here, we want to take photos. Because you get a nice view of the sunset. We're probably the only spot on Northwest we've actually got a little bit of phone reception too, if you're ever interested. <laughs> desperate. Yep. Touch base, get some weather reports, whatever. Telstra point. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much exactly where the sun is really, is your poon. Look, she's just coming up, look. As you can see there, we're just here. Um, this is our favourite place anyway. And um, yeah, it's our first chance to come anywhere really. A decent trip in the boat since our trip. So we've, um, we've been pretty keen to get here. Tomorrow's gonna be a really nice day. So we just trucked out here this afternoon and uh, we knew that this sort of stuff was gonna happen to show you. It was pretty epic. It's gonna be littered, I reckon, when we go around. Yeah. <laughs> And um, another one just out on this one. they're already just timing it there for the sunset, which you can see is about to happen. And um, so special, hey, like people make this like a bucket list thing and fly halfway around the world. And... Yep, and we got it right on our doorstep. So we're just really keen to, um, you know, since we've done the trip and that, we've got a lot of uh, buy in from you guys and that. and people asking us questions want to do more fishing and stuff like that and what we did realize is we don't really celebrate where we live enough you know like and and not a lot of people do you know there's a lot of fishing lads and that that's great but um you know there's so much there's so much to this area um so yeah we're really keen to do a bit of that in between um the next big trip here she comes huh <laughs> that seat's cool so yeah that's our plan anyway for the next few months um, we'll, uh, we'll continue to do this stuff and show you this sort of stuff around this area until we can tell you what we're planning for next year, which, um, 
at the moment looks like it could be pretty cool. So anyway, we'll... Uh, there will be something. There's <laughs> definitely going to be something. Shower time on Heave Ho again. The best part about only having two nights on the water is that you can have as long as you want in the shower. I shouldn't have told Jill that though. Thank you. No water. Old Heave Ho high and dry. It's just weird for us because we've never had it high and dry, so. <laughs> and it's not because we thought we did something wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's just something that we tried out. Like we said, we'd never um, we've come in here once before, but we've never stayed overnight. And um, she's nestled in there quite nicely. Yeah. Happy days. That's really cool. Morning. Jill's just up there doing a little final the touches. Will we head off? Just waiting for enough water to be under us. There we go, clear it is though. A few of the boats there starting to prep up. Probably a little bit later than what I wanted to get away. I would have been like to be probably even fishing by now, but oh, well, it was a pretty good experience just bringing the boat in and having to go high and dry. Everything went really well. Tied the water drains and fills really quick in here, so um, there yeah, wasn't a lot of bumping or carrying on. A couple of coffees, a sneaky brekkie, and uh, we'll poke out through the channel. on the deck. Oh. I just want to get him in. <laughs> Probably not the best.
First lot of fish on board. Nice funnels. To your massacre. <laughs> a little bit slower than um, normal today, but a couple of good feeds off then. Right, so we just moved, um, come down to the deep stuff, the 100 meter stuff. Hopefully, they're chasing pearly. And um, we'll see how we go. It's a beautiful day. Come up a fair way there. It's, it's a fair size. It's a fair size hump there that we come over, but yeah, they seem to be here, so. This is what we've been chasing today. A nice pearl perch. That's a real nice one. The ones we caught earlier are quite small considering we normally get them around this size. But yeah, yeah. So, so you can see um, they fight for the first couple of meters, a bit like a trout off the ground, and then they just open up their mouth. You can see the size of it. Big bucket mouth, and they just open it up and just come up like just like bringing a nine-liter bucket up. And then yeah, they got the pearly spurs on the side there. Early iridescent color to them. Beautiful fish. fish there in that last run. Jill's got a nice big pearly and a nice jobby. Little red throat there. So we're chasing. Bit of a feed. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to get a big one in there, The water's just last out beautifully. We'll give her another couple of drifts, get a couple, get a couple of fish and then we're out. You gotta love it when you're a hundred odd K out to sea and um, and it's as flat as in the bloody river, so um, it's beautiful. Went okay on the fishing, not nothing spectacular. Got a couple of really nice pearlies, um, and and that was our target species. We were just going to come and get some Spanish and some pearlies, so that's what we got. A couple of extra jobbies thrown in, so happy days, really. Good feed. Yeah, we're always pumped with the pearlies. They're um, nice and they're great size. They're, they're corker, corker fish, so um, yeah. Worth the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. So a couple of quick showers just to freshen up. Jill's is making up some lunch. And then we're going to punch back into the kettles and um, 
catch up with a few of the oddies and provide some fish and have some dinner and a few yarns and um, yeah. That's happy us for, days. That's us for the Arvo, yeah, happy days, all right. up we woke up um, to this back in the Keppels. We're trying to sleep in. <laughs> yeah beautiful day come into the Keppels yesterday afternoon and then filled it a couple of those pearlies and um, had dinner with Greg and Lise which is really nice and then um, yeah we're just gonna go for a bit of a paddle now on the paddle boards and enjoy the area. So one thing that we didn't get to uh, prep on our trip um, was having our own granola, so I actually make granola myself that Mick really enjoys, so we had a little bit left over from home here we got to bring out today. It's pretty nice, if anyone's interested I can tell you how I make it. I know a few of the ladies were keen to um, see what our menu was, so um, I don't know how long it lasts, we never find out because we eat it too quickly, but um, it's really lovely, it's quite filling and um, yeah no rubbish added to it so we just have that with a bit of um coconut yogurt <clears throat> and um so i guess the yogurt might be something that's a bit harder to keep you know fresh for longer but um <clears throat> i know that some of the other ladies on the yachts and that have um made yogurt like little kits and stuff but something you could look into and just a couple of nice fresh berries it's nice with anything really something to um get us started for the morning, Good morning for it. where are we bud long beach so this is just the um southern side of great keppel um you got fishermen's then monkey then long is that right we often anchor up here, it's really nice. Spanish and um, pearlies, and that's what we got. So nice feed, 
and then of course uh, catching up with Noosa with Greg and Lise which was really nice. The only downside of being with Greg and Lise is <laughs> we talk too much about what boat we're getting next. Something to aim for I guess. I think we're not 100% convinced which way we want to go yet so A few more things got to line up first before we can make a big decision. In the meantime, I'll heave hell do the trick. <laughs> 